Hey everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On this video we're going to be doing the task White Death, which we can pick up just outside of Tetrix. But before we go over there, let's change my squad mates. I've been rolling with Jaw and Drac for a long time and we'll switch it up a little bit. So I want to keep Drac because he's got those fire rounds or whatever that prime targets for me so I really like that. So we'll switch out Jaw. And let's see, who haven't we brought for a while? Uh, Liam's been out of the game for a bit. Let's bring him. So Liam and Drac, that'll be good. And then I gotta check his skills because I doubt they're leveled up. So let's take a look at his skills. Uh, Drac might need a level two. Well, let's hit auto level, see if anything happens. Oh, yep, you got a new skill. And then Liam, 33 skill points, jeez. Alright, let's auto-level him up. And I don't even remember his skills anymore. Let's see, he's got the frag grenade. Causes shrapnel damage over an area, so an area of effect attack. He's got the Havoc Strike. Liam leaps forward and stabs down enemies with his Omni Blaze, discharging their power to stun all nearby enemies and prime them for combo detonations. Well, that's pretty good. I'll have two guys that can prime for me, and then I'll explode with my charge. He's got overload. Liam unleashes an electric static discharge that chains between multiple targets and deals high damage to shields and synthetics. So he's got a damage over time. Military training increases his offense and defense. So not bad. Really liking that Havoc Strike, though. I didn't realize it was area of effect. I thought it just hit a single target, so that's really interesting. So if I see him lunge in, I'll uh, follow up with a, with a charge. Alright, should be good. Okay, so, uh, need to go back to my map. We're going over to Tetrix, and then just sort of in this area over here. It's not a specific spot. Just kind of pops up. That's Tetrix, according to my map. Okay, so if we drive over here... Having a vet like you makes me think we have a shot at this. Reminds me of a Merc group I tangle with, led by this scarred Arcturian. You trying to tell me a war story? How about you just keep your head up? Fine. Forget I said anything. Wow. Kinda cold. Hey, can you help me with something? There's a wraith cloaked near you. I lost its movement. Will you scan for it and let me know where it's hiding? Okay, we've got the task, White Death. Scan for the wraith. And let's take a look at that and make it our active quest. A local sniper has asked for help tracking down a hidden wraith. Scan the ice to reveal the cloaked enemy. And I actually can't get this quest to pop up on my other profile, just this one. So I didn't even know it existed until I just drove through here on... On this profile, and it popped up. But anyways, I think the Wraith is over in these rocks. I want to say it was, like, right there. I think I see it, actually. Although it's not popping up for some reason. You got it. Over here. Nice. Been tracking that thing all day. Thanks for the help. Do I get to meet the mystery sniper? <laughs> Only right. Come find me. Alright, he took him down, and the sniper is... Apparently back in Tetrix. He's shooting from really far away. Why does my sniper rifle have that sort of range? That's ridiculous. And he one-shot it. Oh, he's right here on the platform. Nice shot back there. Thanks. My father taught me as soon as I was old enough to hold a gun. Good thing you're on our side. I'm glad I'm not on the business end of that thing. As long as you're not Cat, you're safe. Remnant. You ever shoot Remnant out here? I don't see them too often. I heard there's a big one somewhere, but I never found it. The Architect? Yeah, I got it. 
You did? Now I'm impressed. The cat. Do the cat come around here a lot? Only some. Resistance patrols keep most from getting through. I pick off the stragglers. Usually wraiths like the one you helped me with. You ever miss one? Miss? Never. Join the resistance. You ever think of joining the resistance? They'd be lucky to have you. I want to. But my family would never allow it. Not after my brother. Anyway, it's just not possible. That's all. Stay safe out here. See you around. Alright. Task completed. So pretty easy. Just had to track that one guy. And I got some new skill points. See if it's anything I want to spend on. So I'm up to 8 points. That should be enough. Uh, yeah, we can get the final combat fitness. So what are our options? Dramatically increases damage resistance when below 30 health. Could be good, although if I'm at 30% health, I'm pretty much dead. On this difficulty. And what's this? Improves damage resistant, uh, resistance and reduces shield regeneration delay while in cover. Hmm. Now what does damage resistance and cover... 100 actually mean? It's obviously not 100%. Hmm, region delay reduction by 50%. That's probably the best one for me, is the end of trenches. Because this one, if I'm already low health, it's pretty much a wrap. So in the trenches is a constant bonus for me as long as I'm taking cover, which I pretty much always do. Uh, well, not always do. If I can charge around, I'm definitely doing that. But if I can't charge around, I'm in cover. So I'm going to be getting this a lot. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go within the trenches. Which leaves me with two points, and we should probably just beef up a weapon. And I've been liking the sniper rifle, so maybe I'll just do that. Because combat tools is just tech stuff, right? Specialized training that allows the user to expertly wield jump jets and melee weapons in combat. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, that would increase melee damage. Well, hmm. That's combat power damage. That's not going to help me. Well, let's see. Increases combat power damage. Yeah, so that doesn't help, but the melee one would. Detonators, that doesn't help. Damage resistance while evading would go up. That's kind of good. Uh, that increases hover. Not sure why you'd want to do that. Damage resistance while evading. Yep, uh, jump melee damage. Kind of weird. 40% jump melee area of effect radius. Some weird bonuses on this. Some really weird bonuses. This one's another airborne one. It like really wants you to be in the air. Melee bonus per hit is 5%. Melee bonus per kill, 20%. Max melee bonus, 65%. Man, there's some good melee ones in there, though. That's really tempting. Well, we'll probably get this later. For now, let's just beef some sniper rifle damage. So 5% on this one. Let's do that. And then the next one will give me sniper rifle accuracy. That'd probably be good. Alright, well, we're gonna have to spend a lot of points in combat anyway, so we'll probably get those combat tools and probably beef up pistols and possibly even assault rifles too. Just depends on how many points I need to spend. But we're seven points from getting uh, our next Vanguard rank, so doing well on that. So confirm that purchase. These guys still good? Maybe. Let's see if they can auto-level. Oh, uh, never mind. They can't. Okay. Well, we are done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.